Do you guys want to just head to the uh, light rail station? It was just a really big rat. Beating around bushes. <laughs> rattling cages. Oh, it's inside the trash can. I see it. Diving under dumpsters. There it goes, there it goes. There's one right there. It's underneath the trash can. And driven by their DNA. They're just hardwired to go after rodents. This is no ordinary group of dogs. There's one right there. These are the highly motivated members of the Sacramento Canines Rat Annihilation Team, or SCRAT. And we got together with our dogs and started going out about once a month. Oh, there's one. Just one in the hole. Downtown Sacramento. Midtown area, sometimes South Sacramento. The dogs and their humans working to rid the city's public places of nuisance rats. It's definitely a team effort. One rodent at a time. Rats over a lifetime can produce hundreds of offspring. And so, you know, even if it's just we got one rat tonight, you know, that's hundreds less that contribute to the problem. Rats, classified as pests by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, are known for triggering health issues like asthma and capable of transmitting potentially deadly diseases to humans. They can damage or destroy property and vehicles and taint human food sources. It went into this bush. Inspired by other teams trying to eradicate the vermin in metropolitan areas across the country. Oh, another one right there, right there, two of them right there. Each of these urban ratters understands their assignment. They kind of gravitate to whatever that purpose is going to be. There's Raven. She's small but mighty. Tackling tight spaces. Come on, up, up. Spotters, Goose, and Kermit. Usually our locator dogs, if it is there, then his tail starts going like that. A dog they called the excavator for obvious reasons. Larger, faster dogs. Oh, Dagny got it. Ready to catch critters and quick shake them in case they get past the small ones. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. A measure of disappointment. We'll lose far, far more than we catch. Does come with the territory. They definitely have the advantage. Good job. But the ratters believe this pest removal process is a less radical way for the varmints to go. I assure you, like, it's it's quick. A lot quicker than poison, anyway. Stimulating the dog's senses. Dogs have a great time and get a lot of exercise. And igniting their instincts. There's a whole bunch. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This rat pack now sharing nights out in the community while building one of their own. We're a lot more successful together, and um, we've made a really good friendship out of it. In downtown Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. A lot of action there. Well, our crew followed those riders for about two hours, and in that time, the group caught four rats, but they said the dogs are exhausted in a good way after each ratting excursion. Since 2018, the city of Sacramento has approved $325,000 for pest control services at more than 125 buildings citywide. That includes services to get rid of rats, and sometimes the city also has to add more money for certain pest control projects and contracts so this group of volunteers may also be saving the city some money it is the most unusual volunteer work i think i've ever seen it's just a little crazy little hunting crew <laughs> going through the town there